Today we're going to be making a cucumber under eye cream. This is a really lightweight moisturizer that will just penetrate into the skin so easily and it will help brighten up dark circles, help under eye bags, and puffiness. So here is the recipe written out in percents so you guys can screenshot this, refer back to it whenever you want to make it. But if you don't know how to transfer a recipe from percents into a weighed out formula, I do have a video that shows you guys how to do that so I'll link that video down below. So let's just get into the recipe. So the first thing you need is a digital scale that weighs to 0.01 grams and a heat proof container. It doesn't have to be a beaker, just any heat proof container. And weigh out 12 grams of distilled water at first. Then you want 3 grams of aloe vera liquid, 3 grams of rose water, 1.2 grams of vegetable glycerin, 0.6 grams of rice protein, 0.6 grams of niacinamide, 0.15 grams of allantoin. Then go ahead and mix everything together to dissolve the powders. Now we're going to be combining the oil phase and you need another heat safe container for this. Weigh out 3.3 grams of sweet almond oil, 2.4 grams of camellia seed oil, and then you want to use some kind of thickener slash emulsifier. I decided to use Rita Mulse. I purchased it from Formula Tour Sample Shop. I'll link it down below along with all the other ingredients I used in this video. And I'm using 2.1 grams of the Rita Mulse. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's how I'm saying it. And then anyways, you're going to want to grab a pan, fill it up with like an inch of water, and place both of your beakers into the water. And take some aluminum foil to cover them up so nothing, you know, falls in it and it eliminates any water from evaporating. And you want to heat them to 158 degrees Fahrenheit and hold it there for 20 minutes. And it's best to use a temperature gun to make sure you're keeping track of the temperature so you can make sure everything gets sterilized. So once everything is heated and sterilized, remove the foil and pour the water phase into the oil phase. Then immediately take an immersion blender and blend everything together. And after a little bit, it'll turn to a lotiony texture, just like this. And once it's cooled down to room temperature, go ahead and add your cool down ingredients. First, I'm going to be using some cucumber extract. Cucumber extract is an anti-inflammatory. It can help reduce under eye puffiness. It can help hydrate the skin and it can help soothe the skin as well. And I'm using 0.6 grams of the cucumber extract. Then mix in the cucumber extract and follow with your next extract, which this one is witch hazel extract. Witch hazel extract is an anti-inflammatory. It can help reduce swelling and it can help tighten up the skin to reduce overall puffiness, redness, and under eye bags. And I used 0.6 grams of the witch hazel extract as well. And then again, mix the extract in. And then lastly, I'm using Optifin Plus as my preservative. You want to use this at 1.5%. So I'm using 0.45 grams of the Optifin Plus. Then mix that in. This part is optional, but I went ahead and added in like two drops of lavender essential oil. Make sure you don't use too much because essential oils can be sensitive to the skin if used at like a too high of percentage. But two drops is completely fine just to give it a little bit of a fragrance. But like I said, this is optional. So now I'm grabbing this one ounce glass container. I will link down below where I purchased this container along with all the other ingredients I used in this video. That way they're easy for you guys to find. So here's how the under eye cream looks. Like I said, it's a very lightweight texture and it just melts into the skin so easily. It doesn't leave a greasy residue and it helps with under eye bags and under eye puffiness. So I think you guys will absolutely love this recipe. So the last thing that I did, this is optional as well but I wanted to make a label to, you know, just make it look a little bit more professional. And if you guys don't know how to make labels, then I will link down below to a video on how I make labels along with how I waterproof them. So check that out if you're wanting to make labels for your homemade products. So here is how the finished product looks. I hope you guys like it. Let me know if you're gonna be trying this recipe down in the comments below. Also, if you guys didn't know, I do sell homemade skincare products over on my Etsy shop. I do sell an under eye cream. The recipe is a little different than this, but I think you guys will love that as well if you're too lazy to make an under eye cream. So hope you guys have a great week and hope to see you guys next time. Bye. I'm stuck in the motions. I've been consumed by the wrath of time like I'm from I'm shattered in this life. It's still the path that I've chosen. Because I've had a vision, now I'm on a mission to find myself.